you can kind of travel the world in miniature and not even have to go outside. There are a few things that capture the imagination quite like viewing something in miniature. Little houses, little cars, little people, and little trains. For Larry Galbraith, it's a fascination that started at an early age. When I was about seven or eight years old, I got a, I got a Lionel train for Christmas. And I still have that train today. And I, I picked up the, the hobby then, and I've had it ever since. See the mountain climber? I don't know if, and well, there's one there too. He's yeah. repelling. Larry and the other three dozen or so members of the Pocatello Model Railroad Society love to create these tiny looks at life. But what you see here today is 30 years in the making. That's one thing about this hobby. It, it's, you never seem to get finished. It's always uh, got something going. The diorama has familiar scenes. Some are local, like the mountain ranges of Bannock County, and landmarks from the past, like the Income Cement Plant and the Oregon Shortline Roundhouse. But many are simply scenes from everyday life. You miniaturize things and you make it look just like a place downtown or some small town anywhere USA. You make it look just like the real thing. The diorama is housed along with the museum at the Union Pacific Rail Yard and members of the club work on it every Wednesday evening and then they open it up to the public the third Saturday of the month. That is when they enjoy running the trains along the miniature miles of track for others to see and enjoy. Two main lines, that's the two outer tracks that you see the trains running on. That is 240 feet of main line, just the main line. Okay. This is 187th scale, so it's 187th of, a, of one, a whole. So if you walk around this layout, you will have done, an, if it was a one-to-one -one scale, you would have done a four-mile hike, over a four-mile hike. Well, I just like following them and seeing where they end up. Millie Stutz came from Salt Lake City, Utah, and sees the small trains not just as toys, but examples of what trains contribute to our lives. Their transportation, they deliver things. They, they've been around for a really long time, haven't they? And with people like Larry keeping watch over these tiny versions of the real things, hopefully they will endure as well.